This is what happens when you spend 12 to 14 hours a day on your phone as a real estate agent. Appreciate it. Hey everyone, this is Casey McEwen and I am back today with the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've uh, upgraded from a phone that I've had for two years. Uh, usually I upgrade every year with the iPhone. Only reason I do that is because of the consistent use that I put on my phone. As a real estate agent, I spend most of my day on my phone coordinating business whether it be for showings, for clients, communication, social media. So I've upgraded to the 12 Pro Max. Gonna take a look at all the additional upgrades and benefits of using this as a real estate agent. So I've had my previous phone, the 10s Max, for uh, over two years now. Uh, the first year I had it, there were really no issues. I didn't see a reason to upgrade, so I stuck with the phone for the first time using it more than a year. Unfortunately, this past year I've replaced the screen twice and the back is, is needless to say, uh, holding on by threads. So I've upgraded to the uh, new 12 Pro Max. I'm gonna open it up here for the first time today, uh, take a look at it and show you how I utilize my phones for my real estate business. Battery life on my previous iPhone has become essentially non-existent. So, for example, I unplugged this phone this morning and it's already down to mid 80s percent and I've not used it whatsoever. The new battery life on the 12 is going to help substantially, not needing to know that I constantly have to charge my phone throughout the day to make it through an entire workday. Oh baby. All right, we are all set up. I've got a majority of my apps downloaded that I use on a daily basis for my business. Just wanna give a disclaimer first off, I am not a tech guru, this is not a tech review. Basically what I'm doing here is just showing you how I utilize my phone. So as you can see here, my social engagement or the amount of time that I spend on social media apps is actually more than a full-time job. I'm spending almost 48 hours a week on my phone on some sort of social media. As you can see down here, whether that be TikTok, whether that be Instagram, whether that be Facebook or Facebook Messenger, I'm spending a lot of my time just engaging with individuals on a social media platform. Before I was a real estate agent, I didn't utilize social media nearly as much as I do now. Obviously, with this day and age, social media is king, but I wasn't using it to the tune of uh, almost a full-time, if not more than a full-time job every single week. So when it comes to real estate, communication is is huge. If you don't stay in contact with the individuals that you're helping or potentially future clientele, they're gonna go use another real estate agent. So in this week span, I spent over 20 hours alone just text messaging individuals. But I would say my average amount of people that I'm texting on a daily basis is at least 45 to 50 people. With the iCloud that comes with Apple products, I'm able to work from home on my iMac be able to pick essentially my iMac up in a handheld device and go assist clients. Now, let's say I'm out running around doing showings and need to get on a computer again. Well, I've got my laptop or my MacBook, pop that open, and it's essentially three extended computers, one after another. So whether it's my MacBook, whether it's my iMac, or whether it's my phone, they're all connected to one another and it makes it a seamless process for running my business. So another upgrade from my previous phone that actually was an upgrade on the 11 is the wide angle lens. So the wide angle lens when it comes to real estate is definitely helpful if you're an individual such as myself that has rental properties. For example, I just moved out of a small unit in my fourplex into my new home and got it all cleaned up, ready to go. Usually I'd be in there taking a bunch of different photos and I think, granted it is only about 715 square feet, I was able to take a total of maybe eight pictures and it showed the entire unit in itself. Usually I'd have to take 15 to 20 different photos and people may have issues determining exactly how large a bedroom is or how large the bathroom is, but these photos are tremendous. So a lot of people may think that I'm crazy spending 10, 12, maybe 14 hours a day on my phone. I even had uh, a friend of mine, Megan, say she would never date someone who spent as much time on their phone as I do. But when it comes to my business, this is my business. So my phone is my business. I don't 
cold call, I don't door knock, I don't do open houses. A majority of what I do and a majority of how I run my business is on my phone. Now there's not one way to succeed in real estate. There's not one given track method that is the only route for success to be a real estate agent. But the way that I have utilized my phone, the way that I've leveraged my phone has allowed me to not only stay in constant communication with those folks that I'm helping, but it also just allows me to be present. It allows me to show others what I'm doing in my life. And it just really allows them to show interest in what I'm doing. So at the end of the day, when it comes to upgrading my phone, it isn't necessarily all the small little upgrades that are on the phone. It's just the ability to use my phone on a consistent basis and have it be reliable. Because at the end of the day, if someone texts me, if someone calls me, if I need to jump on my phone, I need to know that I'm not going to have any issues with it. I'm excited to be able to use this over the next coming weeks and months. If you do have any questions about how to utilize your phone for real estate, make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe.